Matt Hamilton, a former top Ripple executive, made news on May 3rd, 2023, when he said that the company planned to create a special XRP ledger for digital currencies released by central banks. Hamilton talked about how cryptocurrency companies are now working to make the Yor a secret version of the XRP ledger better. When he was in charge of developer relations at Ripple, what he said was taken seriously, but questions were raised. What did the value of XRP on this Sievert record show about how people felt about it, or was it something else? Not the same. People with black. Swan Capital posted pictures of XRP's shocking $327,000 price on this unknown platform and said they could access a secret ledger. This started a never-ending chain of stories. For those who are new to our site, don't forget to subscribe so that you can get the latest news on all of our XRP issues. Please show me some love by giving my work a thumbs up and telling me what you think beneath it. After this news came out, people talked a lot about how much XRP really cost on this private form and whether or not the ledger existed. This is where the story gets tricky, though. We just recently listened to a show that talked about the Republic of Palo. Why does this matter? It's important to remember that Ripple and the Republic of Palo used to work together. That is, when they led the first trial of a safe coin based on the XRP ledger. These important people should know how much XRP is on this mysterious ledger and that it even exists, which is what we'll talk about in today's show. We are about to show you a movie with the finance minister of the Republic of Pal in it. Set up your gear for the dives. We are going to talk in depth about the argument over whether ledgers should be secret or public, which their stable coin is based on and what XRP might be worth in the future. Let's start the movie. For the most part, we decided to share the XRP ledger with the public because it makes our accomplishments clear. And at Paramount, ongoing projects have always come first. The trip has been enjoyable, but it has also been hard at times. At the end of the video, it's clear that the Republic of Palo's finance office put a lot of importance on the public ledger because it is open to everyone. But their statement doesn't say for sure or against the presence of a private ledger, so it's possible that one exists. Ripple's backing for its innovative work, tests, and experiments has been very helpful in getting past these problems. In fact, a lot of people are interested in the XRP. What is this so-called secret record worth? We got this audio clip from another show, and it will now play. This will make the XRP price on this secret market more clear. If a widely held belief about how public and private ledgers might merge is true, it could mean that their prices will be the same. Figuring out an average is just a guess without any real proof. David Short, who is better known as the CTO of Ripple, went to these talks. Let's talk about how much it will likely cost. The XRP private ledger shows the possible value that the private ledger may give to XRP. This value is not final, though. I'll say it again, just like I did before. Because it is so complicated, there is a hidden ledger. It's not just a thing, it will appear out of nowhere. I saw this for myself in a live streamed YouTube video from Japan, which also showed that there was a public record. How do they tell the difference between XRP notes? That's the real problem today. There are both public and private ledgers, and this work is very complicated. After reading all of this, let's not forget what my main point was. I really do see a moment. The lines between the public and private ledgers are getting less clear. But before that happens, we need clear, strong rules to make sure there are no questions when they do start to work. It looks like they are testing this secret book. Now, the story takes an interesting turn when it comes to the Bank of Japan, which is now known as SBI and just recently announced its plan to start lending XRP. It's important to know this because it means big banks are really interested in XRP. The start of this new loan service makes the bank's goal of using XRP for business deals stand out. XRP lending makes people wonder why Japan would do it in the first place if they didn't think the coin would be important. When you think about the Bank of Japan's next strategic move, which is to do multiple tests and find out how much people and businesses want XRP, the point of view I'm arguing for becomes very strong. They're lending it today, but this isn't just a case of lending. This is a smart financial move that is meant to profit from the rising popularity of cryptocurrencies. XRP's speculative value is appealing, and regular people see it as a useful tool for making transactions across borders. As a result, companies are witnessing a major paradigm shift. The cryptocurrency XRP is not owned by all banks. This is not a one-off trend. It is being used as part of useful utility projects, taking advantage of its ability to make institutional transfers and payments across borders easy. Outside of Japan, big banks are getting ready to join. Take the fact that MasterCard and Ripple work together officially as an example. With this partnership, MasterCard is more than just a credit card company. It's a huge payment handling giant with many smaller companies that work with it. Ripple isn't just a way to connect things. MasterCard has many other businesses besides its main business. Some of these are companies such as Fluency Consensus, Yagdareth, and many more. 
Their partnership is more than just an endorsement. It focuses on liquidity and the possibility of growth. Let me explain what I'm going to say. There is a lot of talk, and some of it is true, that MasterCard's relationship with Ripple was always meant to use Ripple as a key payment channel. You will get my guesses as well as all the latest news, information, and buzz. Please keep in mind that my idea about why MasterCard and XRP might have teamed up is just that an idea. In fact, MasterCard and XRP work together with Ripple. People know that Net's design can take advantage of demand. A cryptocurrency called XRP and its ledger are what make trading possible. MasterCard automatically uses XRP by using Ripplet. So if MasterCard decides to let people pay with Ripple, they will simply use the XRP ledger. This is just a theoretical thought, but it shows how important this arrangement is and what effects it might have. Keep in mind that I'm not a licensed financial advisor and that the information in these movies is just for fun. People who watch my videos should always do their own study and talk to experts before making any financial decisions. Thanks for watching. Please click the like button if you like the movie. Make sure the alerts are turned on so you know right away when I post something new. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next movie. Be careful.